of the BC manager. Actually, uh, if uh, someone is familiar with the VMware, VMware is using SRM. So SRM is actually as uh, is a, a management a DR management software. It it manage manage the uh, DR migration, DR test, DR drills, plan migration. All the things are managed by the uh, the SRM. It it is called Site Recovery Manager. So so same tool we have available in the Huawei uh, products, which is called BC Manager. It is doing the same thing. It will manage all your uh, PR, DR, uh, so, uh, virtualization, virtualization environment, storages, all the things can be managed from here. We can do test, uh, we can do testing, DR drills, we can move, uh, uh, we can do plane migration, we can do uh, fault migration, we can do reprotection, everything can be done using this uh, graphical interface. It is very easy and very user friendly. Uh, it is very easy to e easy to manage. <clears throat> what is e backup? E backup is a, a tool to take a backup of the VMs. So it can be it can take backups of the VMware and the VMware as well. And it is very easy easy to use software. But it has a it has a graphical interface, and you we can easily add uh, the vCenter or VRM. All the VMs will be discovered, and uh, you can. Easily create policies. You can, we can, we can do the uh, backup configuration very easily. So, uh, e backup is the backup tool for the uh, backing up the VMs. Uh, and actually, actually, it uh, uh, the technology is uh, the backup principle is that uh, it take a snapshot. So, let me tell you one thing that every backup software, if 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 you want to use any backup software in the world. They're using the same technology. For example, if you have a VMware and uh, you you have added the vCenter into the backup software, so once uh, you trigger a backup uh, policy, it will send commands to the vCenter to take a snapshot of the VM. So, what is the technology of the snapshot? Snapshot. Snapshot will uh, create a delta disk and will redirect the read write to the delta disk. So you have a read only disk. So the backup software will take a backup of the read only disk and then it will delete the backup uh, automatically and next time uh, when when you create uh, when you create uh, when you trigger an incremental backup so the e backup is uh, capable to uh, do the uh, cbt change block tracking so it will only copy the uh, change block so it will not copy the whole vm again so cbt is supported in C CBT is supported in uh, e backup, so it can be uh, do it can, and can do the back backup of CBT as well. So no need to take a backup full full, uh, full backup every time of the VM. CBT is supported. Uh, yes, it's the same thing. C uh, C CBT is supported, so it will come it will compare and then it will only copy the chain data block. And uh, it can uh, the e backup can support virtualization, public cloud, pu uh, private cloud, and hybrid cloud as well. So uh, we have uh, different uh, tools we can use it for the different uh, different scenarios. And uh, uh, yes, we can restore data as well. We we can restore VM to uh, disk data disk as well. So we can support both. So what is the role of e backup? In the VMware environment and uh, virtualization environment. <clears throat> so in this uh, diagram, as we can see, let me be a laser. In this diagram, as we can see that this is a backup server, and these are the proxy. You know, so this you can call it a media server as well. So these can be uh, this can, can be used for the load balancing because this backup server will be managing the uh, the policies, all the things. And these are responsible to uh, write the data to the storage. So in 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 VMware environment, we have vCenter, ESXi host, and Faber. And same is for the VRM. We have CNAs, and uh, all the VMs are running. So in backup server, we we have to add vCenter or VRM. So these are the uh, mastermind of all these environments. So once these are added, so we can see all the VMs, and we can create uh, policies and we can take take backups of the 
VM from different environment and the same technology are used to take a snapshot of the VM and then get the backup. And then it can, can compare the CBT as well. <clears throat> so this is the e-backup networking la uh, LAN based uh, backups. As we can see that uh, uh, VMware environment is connected to the LAN and same is Fusion Sphere is also connected to the LAN. We, we can take a backups using the uh, LAN uh, medium and it will be transferred to the storage. So as we discussed that uh, it depends on the uh, network uh, speed that you are using 10 gig or 1 gig. So it depends on the speed. So it uh, the speed will define the, the speed will define the uh, backup window and uh, yes the backup window is de dependent on the uh, the the LAN speed. This is LAN free. Okay, this LAN free is uh, uh, the backup server will be connected over the Ethernet to the V center or the VRM. Only the communication is uh, for the management or for the triggering the commands. It will trigger to backup the VM, but if you have configured to uh, take a backup using the SAN, so it will automatically move data on the SAN, fire, uh, SAN medium. It will it will be not traveling over the Ethernet. So your backup speed and your backup will, window will be reduced. So in this case, all the backups will be tra traveling on the SAN network. It depends on the SAN, uh, which type of uh, uh, FC cards are used and which SAN, uh, SAN have the FC card available. For example, 16 gig or 32 or maybe more than that. So the speed depends on the uh, bandwidth of the uh, SAN interfaces. So uh, over the ethernet, it will be only managing the commands and all the things, but the backups will be moving towards the storage on the SAN. SAN. Okay, and now we have to uh, look into the e-replication. What is e-replication? So we have discussed e-backup. E-backup is for the backups, uh, backups only. You can create backups of the VMs or all other things. But e-replication is a DR management uh, software. You can uh, move your data from one side to another side. If you want to replicate all VMs or everything from one uh, side to another side, so we can do that. So BC Manager will manage this, and BC Manager has a lot of option, business uh, integration, uh, management automation, DR visual visualization. We can see or visualize things in the BC Manager. And it is very easy to, to test, to, to do DR test, to do DR drills, to do, to do the plan migration. It is very easy, just you need to click it. It will automatically move the VMs from one uh, side to another side. <clears throat> so uh, it is a DR, enterprise level DR management tool and uh, we, we will discuss uh, in the next slides or we already discussed that that, uh, that it support all the uh, renowned technologies uh, in the market. Okay. So now we will see uh, how uh, the storage layer replication works. For example, if you have a production site in DR site, and then we will we have to install a DR management server. DR management server is means that the BC manager is installed on the PR side and the DR side. So uh, if your primary side is down, so you must have a DR management server on the DR as well to to do the management as well. So that's why we we have two server. So uh, in between storage, we have to create uh, a unit groups and we have to create the replication pair between the storages and it will be visible in the DR management server. So once it is visible to the DR management server and also the Fusion Sphere or VMware will be also visible into the DR management server. So we have to manage everything from the DR management server. But uh, here, here's the drawback that you cannot uh, replicate only one VM. For example, in one LUN you have 10 VMs, so you have to move all 10 VMs that are located on the same LUN. So this is a drawback of this uh, solution, but um, we can we can design it like, like that. We can create groups and we can uh, create different groups. For example, if you have EFP servers, 
uh, four servers. So you can create uh, LUN and you can you can create alien group as well, and you can put all the ERP server in the same same alien group, and then you can move it to, together. So it's not an issue. We can during the designing phase, it can be managed easily. <clears throat> yes, uh, that 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 is that the minimum protection unit is LUN. So you have to protect LUN. In LUN, it depends how many VMs you are protecting, and we can do single remote replication. Uh, yeah, we can uh, protect VM as well. Okay, now uh, there's another technology, Hyper Metro. If if you want to do um, active active solution, so oh, I have uh, the Hyper Metro solution in storages that you can create uh, active active data center. For active active, we need uh, this quorum device. This quorum device means, for example. These storages are can uh, there is a heartbeat between two two storages, so they can check each other that both storages are up and running. For example, if you want to write something here, so it will write at the same time on the both storages. So both storages are active. So you can you can uh, send request to DCB or DCA. Both will be uh, providing the services. So this quorum device is required because, for example, if there is a split brain, the connection between storages are gone. So how how you will manage the the data? Which which storage should know that the latest data is available with with which storage? Because there is no replication links, no heartbeat. So the quorum device will determine that one storage should be act as active. So the other will be down automatically to 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 avoid the data corruption. So in the active active DC, the quorum device is mandatory. You need to do this. Or we can without quorum devices, not it is also possible. And but there are different ways to do this, to do that. Uh, in storage sessions, uh, we will look into this in more detail. There are a lot of uh, technique we can use for active active data center. So hopefully, if we have a, a storage session, then we will we will we will be managing this in the storage session. Okay, if you uh, very simple configuration in BC Manager, you have to uh, discover the resources, storage devices, Fusion Compute, Fusion Manager, VRG, etc. Then you have to create site, for example, local site and remote site. Local site is your primary site and remote site is your DI site. Then we have to create protection group. Protection group means that uh, which VMs you want to protect. So you have to, for example, you have already explained that you have exchange servers or maybe ERP servers, you can create different protection groups. So they will move together to the DR side. So once the protection group is created, then you can create recovery plan. Recovery plan means that you can do a DR drill testing, plan migration, solid protection, and failure recovery. So we'll be looking this, uh, looking to this one by one. These are all the features BC Manager is providing to you. Uh, so DR test, for example, <clears throat> this is a PR site, and this one is the DR site. So we have storage available here, servers are here, and application are there. So I, <clears throat> I want to test, test my DR that DR is ready or not. So when I start, um, I uh, when you select. Test so it will it will automatically start data replication to the DR side. It will replicate it, then it will check the replication status. Then it will create a, a snapshot. As we can see, it will create a snapshot of the volume and it will mount it to the host, and uh, and then it will start the VMs in isolated environment, isolated network. So you can go and check your replication if it is everything is working fine. The main thing in this that your production application is not affected. Production will be running because we are just using a snapshot of your production data. It will use only a snapshot. It will mount it. It will run the VMs. You can test the VMs. Everything is working fine, uh, and it will be in isolated isolated network. So uh, there will be no impact on the network as well, and there is no impact impact on your uh, primary side. So this is this is called usually DR drill. That you are doing some drills that everything is working or not, so you can, you can, uh, you can do it after one month or maybe it depends how uh, you can do it every day. No issue because it's a snapshot, so you can test your environment that everything is working fine. This is called DR test. 
failure recovery. For example, if the primary site is down, so uh, no need to worry about. You can just uh, uh, check the data. You can. It will be managed from the BC manager. You don't need to do it manually. We can do this manually as well, but the uh, e uh, the BC manager will do it do it automat automatically. So we don't need to worry about it. Everything uh, it will automatically map the LUN and recover the business on the DR side. So the replication will be not done because the primary site is down. So if your IPO is eight hours, so you 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 have the eight hours old data available here. You can uh, start your replication using the uh, eight hours old data because your production is down. So there's no replication going on. So for example, you you have uh, switched your uh, uh, your application to your DR side. So, for example, you have planned your migration. You planned it. You move it here to the DR side. Now, what if you want to go back to the primary side? So, you have to do reprotection. You have to do reverse uh, story replication. So, you have to do reverse replication. Now, your DR side will be acting as a primary side, and your uh, production side will be acting as a DR side. So, once the replication is completed, you can. Uh, do again a plan migration to your PR site again. So your PR site again will be up. If there is any hardware issues, you have to resolve all the hardware or the network issues. Then you can you can test it. If everything is working fine, you can move it again back to your primary site, and you can do reproduction again. So this uh, the BC manager will help you to do these all things.